Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Wallace and I'm the Marketing Manager for Zero Emissions here at Peterbilt Motors. I am standing here with our adaptable Zero Emissions Medium Duty, the Model 220 EV. This truck is optimized for pickup and delivery and select vocational applications. It can be configured in Class 6 or Class 7, each available with three wheelbases. The core of any electric vehicle is the battery system or the energy storage system. The 220EV has three different battery sizes to meet your application needs. 141 kilowatt hours for short routes of 100 miles or less, 282 kilowatt hours for long routes where it can go as far as 200 miles, and then 209 kilowatt hours for applications in between. It is important to choose the smallest battery that meets your needs. Adding more battery capacity can add weight and increase cost. So pick the battery size that is right for your application. The energy storage system is more than just a bank of batteries. Batteries are like people and like to be at a comfortable temperature of 70 degrees. This means the energy storage system utilizes heating and cooling to keep them at optimum temperatures and carefully manages power taken out and power put in with regen and charging. All this means that these trucks can work in a variety of conditions and that battery life is preserved as much as possible. Speaking of battery life, this truck utilizes lithium iron phosphate, which can go over 4,000 cycles until they are at 80% of their original capacity. This means that even if the 220EV was driven every day, these batteries would last 11 years. Not every electric vehicle has that kind of durability. So this is a key advantage as the battery system is the single most expensive part of these vehicles. There are two charge port locations available on the 220EV. Both are located on the driver's side. The first one is behind the cab. The second one is behind the rear axle. Choose the location that suits how the truck will be parked. If nosed into the parking spot, behind the cab is best. For backing into the parking spot, the rear charging location is the one you want. The 220EV has a CCS1 charge port that is now the gold standard for charge ports here in the US. This means that the 220EV will physically plug into almost any charger. However, there is a software aspect to level three charging. That is why we are doing charging testing with a variety of charger manufacturers. Sometimes there are some software tweaks that need to happen on the truck side or the charger side to make sure charging always works correctly. All 220 EVs come equipped with level three charging and variable max charge rate and 19.2 kilowatt level two charging. Level three charging takes about two hours for all battery sizes. Level two charging can take anywhere from six and a half to 13 hours, depending on the battery size. Let's talk about the layout of the 220 EV. This truck utilizes a midship motor configuration. Here you can see a motor in the location where an engine and a transmission assembly would reside in a diesel truck. There are two different motor options for the 220EV, one for class six and one for class seven. The smaller motor has 207 continuous horsepower and 355 peak horsepower. The class seven motor has 347 continuous horsepower and nearly 500 peak horsepower. The peak horsepower is a short surge for getting on the freeway or passing. These motors combine great starting torque with efficient cruising, meaning that there is no transmission needed. The motor also provides regenerative braking. Regenerative braking is when a motor turns into a generator and decelerates the vehicle. Doing this recycles energy, which extends range and also decreases usage of your traditional brakes. To the driver, regen braking is like a strong engine brake and can be used for one pedal driving when safe. This reduces driver fatigue, especially in traffic. The 220EV has a single regen setting that can be activated via a button on the steering wheel. When carrying a load and road conditions are safe, always use regen to maximize range. Many folks ask me, what's under the cab since we don't have an engine? Well, there's a lot going on under there. This is where many of the truck's accessories are housed. Up here, we have things like an electrified power steering pump, 
electrified AC compressor, cabin heater, and high voltage to low voltage converter, which is equivalent to an alternator on a diesel truck. We also have our AC charger. When AC charging, the truck must convert AC to DC for the battery system. You will also see a radiator. This is for a coolant loop that cools the power electronics and motor. One thing to note is all of the orange wiring. This notates high voltage, and you must be an EV certified technician to safely handle if needed. There is also a supplemental accessory box mounted on the driver's side frame rail behind the cab. This houses the battery electronics, controls, electrified air compressor, and air dryer. Finally, we get to the battery box located on the passenger side opposite of the accessory box. This houses two 12 volt batteries linked in series to power the cab electronics and accessories, as well as 24 volt to 12 volt converter for the 12 volt chassis and headlamps. A few things to note. Electric trucks start just like a diesel truck, but instead of the low voltage batteries running a starter, they open contactors. This means if the low voltage batteries are dead, the truck will not start. Also, if this truck is equipped with a lift gate, a 24 volt lift gate must be utilized. There is also an easy to see shutoff switch that shuts down all electrical systems for safety and to make sure that the low voltage battery system doesn't drain. It is recommended you turn off this switch anytime you store the truck for more than a few hours. This interior is very similar to a diesel 220. However, it has some enhancements unique to the EV version. This includes the EV specific instrument cluster with relevant EV telltales. It will show you when the truck is applying power or regen and how much usable energy is left in the battery. It also has a 220 EV unique auxiliary display with insightful range information. I hope you enjoyed this walk around. The 220 EV is an integral part of the broadest EV lineup in the industry, offered by Peterbilt Motors. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.